Yeah, son, you gotta work late. Sometimes I wonder what I'm gonna do. Sing it. Well, I didn't go to work for the boss. I was sick. You can't use a car because you didn't work a lick. Sometimes I wonder. I've been having a blast. The Eddie Cochran celebration just went off without a hitch. It meant something. It means something. It touches you in a way that uh, somebody who's just singing some lyrics and trying to hit pitch, and you know, you don't get that. You know, Eddie had heart and soul about his playing and his singing, and his songs um, were very mature. His partner was a great songwriter, and Eddie. Uh, at a young age, you talk to anybody who knew him. He was smart, articulate, charismatic, um, and he brought all that to music, you know, and, and a tremendous love for it. You know, you don't get that good just by hanging out and looking good. You know. It's my first time at a NAM show, uh, and. Uh, it's kind of overwhelming. It's, it's, I just saw Joe Cardici and I said, this is the biggest candy store I've ever been to. My first two albums were uh, Chet and Dwayne Eddy. Dwayne was playing one and Chet was playing one. But the only guy in rock and roll that mattered to me that played at Gretsch was Eddy. I mean, he, he was the guy that put it on the map. It was my dream as a kid to have one, you know, and, and I was so happy when I finally got one, you know, and it was just, I was upset that it wasn't like Eddie's. I'm quite fond of the uh, the new 6120s that have all been pinstriped. I think they're really great, and uh, I'm staring at a, at a sort of a champagne sparkle do a jet now that I, I can't seem to get my eyes off. The sparkle jet, that's my favorite. It's flashy and completely out of control. It's like it's small, so you can like play it easier. Uh, that's what I want right there. That's my next. That's my next present. <laughs> and hey. <laughs> Thank you.